Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Hey, thanks for dropping comments below. Are you ready for December? Are you ready for winter? Hey, we've got some weekend snow potential here. I'm going to go over a comparison of the models. It's early, but it looks to be our next best chance of snow. That's coming up in this version of Hutch's Weather. Stick around. Now, a Hutch's Weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, everybody, we're going to start with a look at the European model guidance here with regards to the snow that's going to be making its way through. First thing, th uh, thing that you're going to notice here as we uh, tra travel through time is that we'll have a few chances of some snow showers passing through the northern plains as we go through our week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. All have fast-moving clipper systems. We call that a progressive pattern here. But we have a stronger system coming out as we head into the weekend. Now, the European guidance shows it moving right through North Dakota, some wind, some snow that will be accumulating and it could continue to work its way through behind it though some brutally cold air and wind now let's take a look at that american model too just to compare the two to give you an idea of is there confidence with this thing or should we just not worry about it well the reason i'm showing it to you is it's something that hutch will be keeping an eye on here's a look at the american model now we'll compare the same model runs there we go they're all loaded up here we go so progressive pattern hit and miss pass passing showers of snow as we go through wednesday then thursday then friday oop then saturday look at this this one a little farther south track to the storm but they do both have a very active pattern with the most impactful system in our area coming through on Saturday. I'll keep my eyes on the track and timing of this puppy, but here's what you need to know with regards to it. Now, we're going to have some cold air. What about snow? The potential for snow with this system, we'll just call it measurable. Please don't pay attention to any of these numbers, but uh, they give us some guidance on what kind of moisture might be there. It's just way too early to get to specifics on this, but the European model with a chance for that snow and measurable snow to make its way through central parts of North North Dakota and into southern Minnesota, it starts losing steam in this case. But here's a better look at the Saturday snowfall potential across the lower 48. Rocky Mountains seeing Saturday snow. This is only on Saturday from midnight on Saturday morning through about midnight on Saturday night. So that's the latest with the look at that and the seven day planner showing that our cold temperatures will be up and down on this roller coaster ride. Falling temperatures on Wednesday. Really cold. I brought the purple out there because we're going to be way below zero on Thursday. And the same thing goes as we head from Saturday's system that brings snow into Sunday. That's an Arctic blast and those wind chills could approach 30 to 40 below. More on that right here. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you up to date this week. And it's a pleasure having you along for the ride. Let me know where you're watching from in the comments below. This has been a Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching Hutch's Way!